Here's our next head-to-head. -head. This time, it's a mass in the carotid sheath. Here are two similar images from two different patients with two different diseases. This is the part where you pause the video and see if you can make a diagnosis in each of these two cases. If you're a little confused, let's go over some anatomy and then maybe you'll want to pause again and see if you have a different diagnosis. So here's the mass in each of the patients. I want to tell you that this is the greater cornu of the hyoid bone. This is the internal carotid artery. This is the internal jugular vein. And this is a branch of the external carotid artery. In the other patient, these are internal and external carotid branches. Here's the internal jugular vein. And that is the greater cornu of the hyoid. Pause again if you think maybe you've got a different idea of what this is. Here's why that anatomy is important. This mass is arising right in between the carotid vessels and the internal jugular vein. That's where we expect the vagus nerve to be running. This is a schwannoma arising from the vagus nerve. On this side, there is no splaying of the carotid artery and internal jugular vein. They're not being separated or, at all. All of these vessels are being displaced laterally by a mass that has arisen more medially. This is also a schwannoma, but it's a schwannoma of the cervical sympathetic plexus. So in summary, vagal schwannoma, cervical sympathetic plexus schwannoma, and they have different surgical approaches.